All right, folks, again, uh, bear with us. We are having some technical difficulties here. Um, moving on to match number three, we have Mike Jasinski. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, versus our number three seed, EJ Tackett. Strike. And another strike. Okay. Probably going to need to do a lot of that. Definitely getting too much interference from the building and uh, maybe some other Wi-Fi going on in the building. There is a three-bagger for EJ starting off. There's going to be a lot of strikes this game. Do you think? Um, I'm, uh, I think. You think? I, th I think. <laughs> well, I like the way the window thinks. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Wow. That was a great shot. break. Hey, we talk about Mike, uh, head coach for Trine University. Been, that's actually in Indiana, I believe, but uh, uh, towards Michigan. Yes. Yeah, I, I believe so. Yep. He is a regular to come down for some of the bigger events, so. I got to spend a little bit of time with Mike a few months ago in West Virginia at a PBA event, and very nice guy. He likes to have a good time. He does. Oh, he's tripping. Sixes. And the seven and the ten. <laughs> <laughs> you said take that. <laughs> For those of you who can't see behind the scenes, Scott has done nothing but work on this yeah. to try and uh, get it up and running since we started. We might need to call tech support. 
Uh-oh. Can't get the roller on Did that one. I get the 10. Well, Scott, tech support sitting right next to you, and I have no clue what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just. Be all the uh, all the energy in the building today from all the bowling, all the uh, bowlers, I guess. Let me see if this Wi-Fi will come up again. I just looked; it's not there. Hit the mobile hotspot button. That that turns this into a hotspot. Oh, great shot by Mike. Again, folks, we are recording this, and we can put the recordings up on the uh, Facebook page when we're finished. Genius. I try. Are we going to do the play-by-play -play again on the recording? No, because it'll be on the recording. You think so? Guess what? <coughs> we got a match. Mike threw another strike. Yeah. <laughs> that loud <laughs> sound. Oh. oh, wow. Much better shot than the trip four on the last <laughs> shot, but uh, no luck that time. No love. Did you, did you pay the bill? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did pay the wireless bill. Okay. I'm just making sure, because... Coming back with a big strike. Yeah, nine wasn't going to stand on that one. You know, I'd sit here and pull my hair out over this, but. Uh, well, you can try. Right, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Wendell. I was going to say, who's getting that one? Me or you? <laughs> I think out of the three of us, Todd's got the most hair here. Well, I've been due for a haircut <laughs> for a month. <laughs> Skated that one a little bit. We know Jason. It's cutting in and out, but we are recording it so we can replay it afterwards. So bear with us, guys. Covers up the three pin. Uh, score right now, EJ Tackett has a max score still up there of 268. I bowled that once. You did once? Once. <laughs> For one game? For one game. One game? One whole game. <laughs> Mike J has a final score total of 258.
He didn't miss left on that one. Pretty good shot right there. It's a thing. It's obviously it's urethane, but it could. Uh, if you just miss it a little bit, it's going to wiggle, which is what it did on the last shot. And my reactive stuff does that. <laughs> <laughs> He went back to the trip 4-7. He had to walk it off the screen. Timeout. Defense. Hopefully everybody saw that. It's the second time I've seen him do that. Look at that. We have a green, a green block. Well, we've had green blocks, but let's just hope it stays they green. They kept falling off. Make it stay green. I'm trying. Nathan Smith, I believe. Yep. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Solid eight. That ball just hit the one, two, and just kept going right. Scott, I wonder if we need to work on the OPS on this one and uninstall it, reinstall it. Bite the bullet and upgrade it. I don't think it's an OBS issue. Yep. It's definitely a Wi-Fi issue. Wi-Fi. Yeah. I would love to talk about this with you guys, but I don't know what you're talking about. That's all right, Wendell. Neither do we. You just you fake it till you make it. It's okay, Wendell. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely change the OBS. That's see, look at that. You said that right, reconnecting right. successful. <laughs> All right, Mike J is at one eighty eight in the eighth frame. Spare up in the ninth. Max score two thirty eight. Needs this one. Oh no! Not gonna do it. E.J. Tackett is going to move on to the championship match versus Justin Knowles. Yeah, while well, uh, E.J. finishes out, just quick shout out to our sponsors once again, uh, Ebonite and everything, Dave Watkin, everything that they do there. And greatly appreciate all that. And the gentleman to our right, Mr. Wendell Barger, Strikers Bowling Performance and Wellness Center. Thank you, Wendell, for your uh, contribution to this year's tournament. Amazing. Thank you guys for allowing me to be a part of it. Well, you know, I, we, I put a message out last year after the tournament, and I said, I, I, let's make this thing big next year. Let's Everyone's work together. Let's see what we can do to make this one big. And it wasn't five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes, and I was getting a text from Wendell. He's like, let's do it. Why don't you put that message out again? Let's make it bigger, next, even bigger next oh, year. Oh, we will. We're <laughs> are you are you playing next year? Oh, I'm playing next right. year. You're going to bowl next year? Well, I'm, 
Might. Uh, we're not talking about that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so Wendell's already committed to next year. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we'll have our same setup and deal with our friends at Ebonite. So, hey, let's go ahead and see who else wants to play along. Let's, uh, let's make this might be able to bigger than what it is. Might be able to work on something with Polar HQ. Never know. Or Big Four Socks or some of our other sponsors who help us along the way. There we go. You know what we need? We need David Slavin here from Big Four Socks. Yeah, he's watching, but I don't know if he can, if we know he's watching or if he can see he's watching. Look, for the moment, it looks like uh, we've got a decent feed. But we are going to replay this still anyway. And I'll upload the replay version onto YouTube as well. Yeah, we need to uh, make this bigger again next year and every year. Grow it. Well, that was the whole idea. Um, this is the fourth year. I want to say fourth or fifth. Um, for I want to say fourth. And when the idea came to me, um, I mean, I, my first thing was, you know, I born and raised, grew up here in Cincinnati, was a bowler at that point, and always was looking to uh you know, with, there were some tournaments around town, and, and the very best one was the uh, the Hoinky Super Classic. The Super Classic. Uh, Thanksgiving weekend, scratch bowling. It brought a little bit of uh, Las Vegas feel right mm -hmm. to Cincinnati. Um, it was absolutely an incredible environment. And, um, you know, that's what we're kind of building to. Obviously, that's not going to happen overnight with what those guys did. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 they grew that over years yes so we're uh my goal wendell's goal uh ebonite's goal is to to get as close to that as we mm -hmm. can um again we would never try to compare ourselves to that no. tournament because i've bowled it and i'm still nervous from bowling it because <laughs> when you shoe it up for the first time in right. that event it's, uh, I remember the first year I bowled it. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you might shoot 250 and get beat, but the guy on the pair next to you might shoot 130 and get by. Right. Um, the format was was fantastic, and it was just it was just incredibly well done. Uh, that whole week, the way they used to do the Super Week with all the sweepers and yep. that that was it, it was definitely special. Yeah. I mean. It took a special person to do it, though, because you were gone for the holiday. And yep. So, you know, there's there were houses that we were talking to about bringing it to after we had to make a change um, without going into details again right. on that. Uh, Christy, you're right. Uh, and you're 100% you're correct. But, yeah, the action bowling anytime you wanted, that's something that we might wrinkle into that next year. Yeah. Uh, we'll, well see. The action bowling was always very interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget the story. My brother, I got a twin. He wasn't even bowling the tournament. I was bowling the tournament. And there was some guy from a ball company who was in there spouting off and wanting to bowl. And Tim's like, he was just practicing, just no, he wasn't fishing. He was just out there practicing at one night. And uh, the guy approached him, and he's like, uh, and my brother's name is Tim. I approached him and said, hey, let's uh, let's go for a couple hundred. And Tim's like, I don't have any money. 19-year-old kid. And he's like, but I see you got a case of yellow dots sitting over there. So t Tim bought him for a case of yellow dots, and two of them are still at our house. <laughs> so... <laughs> It worked out <laughs> in his favor very well. Uh, it's kind of neat, though. Uh, the, it just uh, people throwing up money uh, to see who can knock over the 710 so many times uh -huh. across the house. And uh, <clears throat> I was um, I, I was there for one of those moments. Yep. Brad, the winner of that last match was E.J. Tackett. We're going to have E.J. Tackett and Justin Knowles here in the finals. Uh, they're hugging it out. I think E.J.'s telling them what's going to happen to him this game. Justin doesn't <laughs> seem scared. No, he's not. 
Uh, J Justin is a heck of a baller. Never forget coming out of COVID, he came down to, to what I ref uh, we'll just say Cole Rainbow. Uh, and me and, and uh, they were cheering for us. Yeah. Do you hear them? They're cheering for us. <laughs> uh, me and Brian Regan did a little sweeper one night. Okay. The night before we did a tournament on a really hard pattern. But it was on house, and it was right out of COVID. We literally had just reopened back up. Michigan wasn't allowed to reopen because their laws and whatever were way tougher. Justin Knowles comes down, and he's like, I haven't thrown a ball in like four months. Practice or nothing. He shoots 868 in a sweeper. <laughs> Justin is a, Justin's a phenomenal bowler. Well, and Phenomenal just a bowl. quality young man, too. Yes. They all are. I mean, everybody that was here today, uh, you, you give everybody the benefit of the doubt. But that being said, just a quality young man. Mm -hmm. And uh, he didn't sign up absolutely, Jody. He, um, he didn't sign up until beginning of this week. Uh, he wasn't sure he was going to make it down. There's tournaments, so many tournaments on Thanksgiving weekend, and some of them that are right in our backyard, uh, the TNBAs in Dayton. Right. We're only, you know, 45 minutes from there. Um, their regional goes on then. Oh, big shot there for Justin. I guess we just need to start connecting to my phone every time now. Apparently, well, it didn't like it because it wasn't finding finding it either. <clears throat> Once we found it, though, oh, that's true. It's okay. I'll uh, I'll take this computer home with me and just hit it with a hammer. No, 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 <laughs> oh, no, no my no. bad. That's how I fix my wife. <laughs> no, I'm gonna drop it out a window. <laughs> What Windows version is it? <laughs> Second floor. <laughs> Justin kicking off the game with a double. And EJ not start starting with a strike. It's unusual. You know, we're sending all of our thanks around to our sponsors and whatnot, and we can't forget Olify and Bowler HQ. Um, you know, for everything that they've done for TMT Bowling as well. And uh, best jerseys in the business. If you know anybody looking for any jerseys, uh, bowlify8.com. Or I actually just reach out to Todd McGill. I, yeah, I know a guy. He yeah, does. Yeah. He does. Blow, blow Todd McGill up. Right. He will set you up with jerseys. Oh. We've got a TV timeout. <laughs> what happened? Uh, EJ's waiting for this field goal to EJ's be kicked. EJ's watching the football game. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that there was going to be a, a loud eruption uh, from the bar right in the middle of his backswing. I Baltimore mean, Ravens defeat to the Jacksonville Jaguars. But I, don't, I don't think EJ wants to admit this, but I think he stopped because he's a Jacksonville Jaguars fan. You think so? What he could, doesn't could realize. Could be. Just don't tell him I said that. What he doesn't realize is that was a $250 shot clock violation. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, and also reach out. You know, bowl, of, bowl of five staffers, they're all over. <coughs> centers and stuff like that. Uh, look for them. Ask them to help you out. But... Uh, also, Todd, thank you for uh, <clears throat> everything you've done. Uh, this ev this event was your idea several years ago. Uh, you brought back scratch bowling to the greater Cincinnati area. Um, but thank you for that. And thank you for everything that you do for the bowlers yeah, you, in this you, region. Not just this city, but this region. Yeah, you, you do a lot that doesn't get recognized. That's um, okay, though. I'm not worried about that. But, I don't do this for recognition. This, this, I do the, it because the, of my passion for what I do. You know, this tournament here to bring something like this, like Scott said, but bring sc scratch bowling back, a larger scratch tournament. It's phenomenal turnout, phenomenal tournament. 
Yeah. If somebody would have told me, you know, 10 years ago when I started doing little, little more than 10 years ago, just doing little sweepers that, you know, got 10, 15 people to start out. And now the sweeper has gotten to we be where it is. But that's really the, that's really the base of everything that gets us to here. Yeah. Um, that Sunday night sweeper is, is where it started. That's always going to be our baby. And, uh, and it all, it all builds from there. Um, I can't do it without the right team, and I've got the best team in the you've, you've got a in gr- the country, in my opinion. You've got a great team of people. Uh, Dawn's not here today. She's watching, I think. Yeah, she's taking PTO. She's taking PTO today. <laughs> uh, Lauren, uh, call your baby. He's always part of the team. You're part of the team, Wendell, and uh, that, the jersey, the Bowler HQ that, on that, the that, chest, that looking that good. Bowler HQ jersey looks nice. Don't forget Scott. Oh, forget what? Who? Who? Right. Well, you know. Right. Scott's that, by far one of the most unsung heroes on what happens on any tournament the, team. Apparently, he's, he's the tech guy. Right. Well, he is. He's, <laughs> you name it, he does it. Todd's phone was the answer. My phone was the answer. Right. You should have answered it. EJ with the three-bagger right now. Yeah. We'll get a score. or a yeah. Shout out to score here in just Justin, a second. Justin's fourth frame. Got that ball a little bit to the left, and it just did not recover. Oh. Another half ten. There's David Slavin watching. Hello, <coughs> David. Hello, Rich Dupac. Sing from Florida. <laughs> oh, I wish Thanks, I was buddy. in Florida. Maybe we'll be down there in a couple months, though. About a month and a half. You going to Florida? Yeah, we're going to Florida to live stream a, a bowling tournament. Nice. In Orlando in the middle oh. of January. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. What weekend is that? I may fly down. It's the weekend of the 14th. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I believe we'll be down there the 10th, 11th, 12th, somewhere right in the middle of that week. Tammy and I have been looking for a place, warmer weather for me in the wintertime. Yeah. Because cold weather just doesn't apparently go well with all the metal that yeah. they put in my chest. Yeah. So we've been looking at Florida, Mississippi. Hit, hit Terry Rose up. He's got that place. In, uh, yeah, uh, Terry's, Terry's tried. To, uh, he's talked to me about uh, Myrtle Beach. And he keeps wanting us to come down and do a tournament. We're waiting for him to do some. I'm just torn though. I don't Recruiting. know if I, I, I don't know if I want to go somewhere where there's hurricanes or mm. rattlesnakes. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I went out on a golf trip many years ago when I played golf out west in Tucson, Arizona. And if I didn't hit it in the fairway, I didn't look for it. All right. So <laughs> we actually um, we looked. Oh, great, great shot! shot. By Better Justin. shot on that lane. We actually looked in Arizona, uh-huh. and I realized that I don't sell enough bowling balls <laughs> to move it's a, to Arizona. It's a, yeah, good place to visit, though. <laughs> yeah, Vincent on, Ludwig, Ludwig, hello, Ludwig. sir. Right. So for all of you listening, buy some bowling balls so I can go to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got to do. <laughs> I was going to say, that came off his hand like butter. Right. That was a really good shot. Nice little crowd behind us watching. There all is. Day, yeah. Crowds we go. All the way into good. the door frame. Yeah. yeah. I, and you know what? I don't think well, they're here for the bowlers. That's because yeah. I think they're here for the commentary team. Uh, that could be it. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to cheer us on as we leave. <laughs> Hold the door open for us. <laughs> Different kind of cheer. <laughs> oh. oh. Just a tick high. Almost had a roller. Hi, Natalie. Of course, on the sign behind us, you see Big Four Socks. You can see Bowl for Life. You see Bowler X up there, Wendell and I, and part of Bowler X, Bowler Lee X. Sant. Uh, it's a big sponsor for EJ. Runs over that four pin. Speaking of Bowler X, very great people. Oh, like that Lee trip and we Krista did. Yeah. Are 
I met them a few years ago in Portland, Maine for the PBA League. You went the year before I did, I yes. think. And amazing people. <laughs> amazing people. Any of you that are bowling fans, huge bowling nerds, make a trip to Portland, Maine oh. one year for that tournament. Oh. Such a good trip. I would imagine you probably oh. have to try to get that a year in advance, maybe. Tickets or however. I'm sure as soon as they announce the dates, yeah. you got to start working on it. On tickets for the TV shows? Yeah. For Depen Portland, Maine. Depends on who you know, Scott. Oh, that's true, too. We depends, on who you, depends on who you know. Yeah, I don't know anybody. <laughs> With that last strike, Justin took, the, took a small lead in this match. Uh, it's putting him at... Max score of 265 still. Uh, but that last strike put him in the lead. This one here in the eighth is big, big. Yeah, I'm not sure what EJ's throwing. It's very well could possibly I'm pretty be sure it's the octane. Justin said, wait a minute, though. He, I'm, I'm here. He's using the octane, 87, 95, 93. I think it's 93. 93. 93. Yeah. <laughs> Going with the racing stuff. <laughs> High octane. Yeah, this is it right here. This He's going to have to fill some frames with X's. Very nice That's shot. an X. He still has 249 up there. Justin's not going to back down, though. No. No, no this will come down to the 10th frame. That's all you can ask for. Yeah, it's a great way to wind up a great week in the bowling here at Gilmore. <laughs> Got away from him. Yeah. Not happy about that shot. Again, shout out to the staff here at Gilmore Lanes. Uh, amazing weekend. They hit it out of the park. Yep. They, they've done a heck of a job. Greatly heck appreciate job. all their hard work. They probably got tired of me this week because <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this has got to be this way. This has got to be this way. And, uh, I didn't have to tell them anything. They knew what they were doing. <laughs> yeah, they've done a great job. Again, the winner, $7,000. Second place, $4,000. Is that good? It's not bad. The bowlers have all been very accommodating to the groups coming in to watch. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know EJ took EJ and Zach Tackett took some pictures and signed some autographs. Oh, oh wow. wow. Nice shot. I don't think you can throw it much better than that, can you? Well you get them all fall down, but you know. I know Pat that was match isn't over. Pat was extremely excited. She was showing um, me and Tammy her picture that she got with EJ and Zach. She was and I, she was excited about it. She was um, texting people about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. since I've joined their team down here, albeit you know part time, I I literally from the first day I walked in here, August first, I started here. I started with Bolify on uh, July first, basically. They have welcomed me with open arms. Everybody has uh, treated me like family, and. Uh, I'm glad to be part of this team here at Gilmore Lanes. I, I can honestly say that. They're and I echo those sentiments since I yeah, just Scott started. Yeah, Scott joined the team here recently. Ago, yeah. He's bartending here. Yeah. Slinging drinks. All right. Yeah. Come up here on a Wednesday or every other Saturday. That's Scott right. Shorsh is slinging drinks. That's right. If it's not in the bottle. Big shot you. right there. That was huge. <laughs> uh, here's the score right now. EJ has a max score of 229. That strike right there put Justin in the 230s. Um, Double, this one here, he locks him out. I mean, he's pretty much got to beat. He needs six pins. Six pins and oh, two balls oh, yeah, for the win. True. Oh, bad math. I 
think that was more than six. Definitely more than six. Justin Knowles defeats EJ Tackett in the finals. Wonder if Knowles is a Raiders fan with the jersey colors. <laughs> oh. I don't think Wendell liked that comment. Uh, I mean, not that I have anything against the Raiders. I just don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything against them, but you don't have anything for them either. Right. I mean, <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm a Bengals fan. If we can keep the, the cameras rolling, I might try to get a couple words with EJ and Justin out on the approach with the house microphone, okay? We can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, EJ's going to wrap it up here. Go out for 218. Oh, wow, another brutal seven pin. All right, folks, that's going to do it for the 2022 Ebonite Fall Classic. Sponsored by Ebonite and Strikers Bowling Performance and Wellness Center. We have EJ Tackett, 217. Not enough against Justin Knowles, 244. Stay with us. Todd's going to get uh, Justin and EJ out onto the lanes. All right, final match is over. Congratulations, Justin Knowles on the win. Congratulations, EJ, on an amazing weekend as well. Um, we want to. We're, we're glad you were here at Gilmore Lanes. Uh, hopefully, we made your time nice. Uh, had a good time with everything. But you got anything you want to say about the weekend? Either one of you. Uh, first off, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, I want to thank all of our sponsors. Wendell's here from uh, what's your pro shop? Strikers, whatever it is. That one. That's why I love you. Hey, I, That's I'm why I love you. Pro shop, so. <laughs> Thank you all the sponsors that added money. Uh, Evan and I actually added a bunch of money into this as well. So, um, made a great tournament, tournament for all of us to bowl. And uh, thankful to everyone here at Gilmore Lanes. Uh, this place is awesome. This is the first time I've been here. Um, we don't get a bowl in wood very often, but it's nice to be able to come to a bowling center that has really nice wood lanes. So, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, made the ladder a few times in this tournament, so it feels pretty cool to win it, especially in the new center. Uh, thank you guys so much. It was awesome. Thanks, everybody who put money in, everybody who cheered us on. Appreciate that a lot. Uh, Todd, thanks again. Always appreciate it. We run a great tournament. That's why we love coming back. So thank you guys very much. All right, guys. Uh, we'll get some uh, information very soon for next year. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing all of you and many of them for next year's Fall Classic. Thanks again, everybody. All right, Wendell. Thanks again for uh, being one of the main title sponsors here for the tournament. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for letting me be involved. Thanks for joining us in the booth. Uh, again, folks, we apologize for all the technical difficulties we had, but... Uh, Scott worked on it. He really did. He we, tried. Yeah, I tried. He tried, and then we have some videos of everything, so we'll put those videos up in the uh, in the Facebook group. Uh, it's a nice shirt you've got on there, nice. Scott. It is. It oh. Looks good on you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, again, Justin Knowles, the winner this year, the 2022 Ebonite Fall Classic, uh, beat EJ Tackett. Uh, we had a field of 165 bowlers. It all started on Friday, uh, and it all came down to this, and that was a great final match. Yes, yes, it was. It was. Waiting for the boss man. Boss man, you got anything else? No? Todd, Todd's, all right. Todd's done. He's out. All right, he's, he's out. He's leaving. Folks. He's, he's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for spending part of your day with us. If you were here bowling the event, uh, thank you for spending part of the weekend. <clears throat> We greatly appreciate all your support. Uh, yeah, thank again, you, thank you to everybody that came out. If you're not, yes, 
Again, if you're not following us on YouTube, TMT Bowling Stream TV on YouTube and also the Facebook page. Uh, that's all I got, Wendell. I, that's all I got. All right. I mean, I, I want. I hope everybody had a great time here bowling. Thank you to everybody that came down, everybody that watched, and next year's event, I promise you, will be bigger than this one. Sounds good. Y'all have enjoyed the rest of your Sunday. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.